Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. All right, here we are. It's it's that time of the week again, right? It it's time. It's time for the undervalued key show. All right, guys. Now before we get dived into what the undervalued key of the week is, I do want to let you know about the 500 subscriber giveaway. Now, when we hit 500 subscribers, we'll be giving this book away. All you have to do is like the video, comment down below, and be subscribed to the channel, and that'll give you a chance to win the Silver Cerberus number one. All right, guys, now let's get dived into what the undervalued key of the week is. This week, we have up Dark Hawk number one from Marvel Comics, three of 1991. And, uh... We'll start with the cover like usual. We have this super awesome Mike Manley cover. And uh, Dark Hawk's just taking these guys out who are trying to shoot at him. But, uh, you know, he's breaking one of, their, one of their guns and slashing at the other. And uh, definitely, <laughs> he is not taking it from these criminals, right? All right, guys. So that, you know, it's just kind of a classic cover. It's the first Dark Hawk. It is the origin and first appearance of Darkhawk, Chris Powell. So, one of the rare times, guys, that we get the origin, the first appearance, and the first ongoing title for a character all within the same book. So that does make it kind of, it's, it is the Darkhawk book. If there ever was a Darkhawk book, it's the Darkhawk book. It's got, you know... The big three that that uh, that you're looking for uh, out of uh, out of a key, and uh, so yeah, it's just it's it's a really cool key, super classic cover that everybody kind of remembers. Now there is some MCU potential for this character as well, um, and it caused this book actually to spike up significantly last year, but guys. There hasn't been any news about this book in over a year, right? But, I mean, you know, Kevin Feige did say at one point that, you know, one of the characters on his radar on the list, you know, it was around the same time, too, guys, that he, he name-dropped Nova, saying, yeah, you know, there's some development on a Nova project right now. And one of the characters that I also really think, uh, you know, I'm interested in and in looking at is Darkhawk. And like I said, at the time, that spiked the book's value. But since then, also, you know, with, you know, some of the drops in values of, of a lot of other books and uh, things going on in the economy right now, you know, like I've said, this is a great time to pick up the books that, that you, you know, you've always wanted to add to your collection. Um... And this is a cool book. Maybe maybe he does show up in the MCU, right? We, we don't know at this point. Uh, but if he does, then definitely the, you know, the values that we're seeing today on this book will, will probably change, especially if the movie or television show or whatever they do is, is good, right? Um, so as always, let's go ahead and get dived into some numbers and uh, see why, why Jacob Comics thinks this is an undervalued key. Um, it, it, you know, it also has to do with, uh, the prices of, of the book. So as usual, you know, you don't have to get a graded copy like I have, uh, currently on eBay, I was able to find within the last two months, the book generally sells for about $10 in a, you know, mid to okay, you know, reasonable grade. Um, and in, in a, in a high grade, it, it goes for 20 bucks. So yeah, anywhere from 10 to $20, depending on the grade of the book. Um, so yeah, that's, it's, you know, in a raw, it's not a very expensive raw. If you, if you guys do find it in the wilds or see it at your local comic shop and, and think, hey man, I think it's a cool key. Um, or if you remember it like me from your childhood. Um, now let's get dived into some, some data from CGC's website. They do have a total in all grades of this book of 3,556. There are 1,138 9 8s. 
in 9-6, there are 1,197, and in a 9-4, there are 575. So if you've been watching this show for a while, that's actually kind of a reasonable amount of books being graded. So we can see this is a popular key that people respect and has been submitted in a reasonable amount over the years, right? Um, so in a 9.8, this book is kind of all over the place right now, guys. And so that's one of the other reasons I wanted to have it on the show because, you know, maybe you can become one of the new lows on this book. It, it, it's, it's all over. So in a 9.8 currently, you know, I don't, I don't quote any of the auctions because that's you know that's kind of where you where you might find the deals, but you know who knows if they've ended or, or or if people have bid them up too high. So I kind of I exclude those, and all these prices are shipping included. So there is a buy it now two hundred and forty dollars. However, however, like I said, you always want to listen to the lows on this book. Now. Within the last two months, somebody was able to snag a 9.8 copy for just $160 shipped um, plus tax, so not too bad. And the high, see, like I said, this book's all over the place. The high on this book was $310 uh, plus uh, tax. So, yeah, from one, 160 was the low, all the way up to 310 was the high. So, yeah, the book's, you know... <laughs> like I say, I'll always want to want to listen to the lows, and if you can get the book around there or lower than there, that's what that you know that's that, that's usually good. I feel like it turns out to be a great deal, because um, as I've said this before, um, any of the shows that I do or any of the books that I do show off on this show, I I'm not looking to sell right now, right? Um, so in a in a nine six. I did see a buy it now of $80. There was a high of $102 within the last two months, as well as a low of $72 for the 9.6. So the low for the 9.6 was $72. Uh, I did see a current listing of $71 for the 9.4, as well as a high of $86 and a low of $52. So once again, the 9.4, the low was $52. So yeah, that, that's what I have this week, guys. The undervalued key of the week is Darkhawk number one, the origin and first appearance of Darkhawk, Chris Powell. Um, just a super cool comic book. I, I feel like it's kind of it's kind of old enough now that we can call it a classic or or you know, a young classic at least. Um, yeah. That's what I have. All right, guys. Remember, if you like this kind of content and you want to help support the channel, click the eBay link below, shop on my eBay store, or check out the $50 mystery box. Uh, that The sales for that end this month. There's not that many mystery boxes left. I'd appreciate any help in selling out. All right, guys. Check the ad out after this for the mystery box. We'll see you tomorrow, and have a great day. Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. All right, I'm I'm really happy and excited to share this with the with the community. So what we have here, what are we looking at? It's my first ever mystery box. It's DC and Marvel only, number ones only. So it's all going to be all number one issues, all DC, all Marvel. They're going to be a guaranteed value of sixty dollars on every single mystery box. There are only thirty boxes total. And uh, all I'm asking, guys, is $50 shipped. So $50 shipped, and I'll I'll send. I'll guarantee you'll get $60 in value in uh in number one Marvel and DC only. And uh, yep, there's also going to be five grand prize winners, and the five grand prize winners or mini prize winners are going to get $100 in value uh, mystery prize box. So they're, they're going to be uh, five boxes valued at $100. And then there's going to be a grand prize winner, guys. And the grand prize winner is going to win this Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number one slab in a 9.8 of the Del Auto Virgin Edition. 
um, Scorpion Comics limited print. And additionally, not only are you going to get the slab, but you're also going to get a $60 mystery box as well. So you'll get to open up a mystery box full of number one issues just like everybody else. And you'll get this cool slab. So that's the grand prize winner gets the slab and a $60 value mystery box. And then there's going to be five mystery boxes, mini prize winners valued at $100. And then, yep only 30 boxes total so i'm really i'm asking for the community's help and support on this one if you guys could could help me out and uh help me help me to sell out of the 30 boxes that'd be super amazing and and yep these are some of the books that you'll that you'll see in the mystery box in the number one only jacob comics first ever exclusive mystery box all right guys um and the best way to uh to find out how to how to purchase them <laughs> is to get a hold of me on Instagram at Jacob underscore comic. So it's the same as my YouTube, but without the S on the end. And again, I really appreciate the community's support and uh, helping me spread the word about this mystery box. I thank you very much in advance. And um, I yep, we'll see you guys tomorrow as always, and have a great day. Okay.